Hi guys, I'm Tanya and welcome to my channel, The Donkey Business. Today, I am here to talk about something very interesting. This year, I started watching Formula 1 the entire season very regularly. After I finished the three seasons of Drive to Survive in literally four days. And I was hooked to that um, spot. And I started watching Formula 1. This year was literally the best season of all time. Well, my friends who've been watching Formula 1 since the past 10 years also told me that this season was the most dramatic season. And next season is going to be even more dramatic because there are a lot of changes happening in the car, in the team, uh, with the team players, team principal, etc. So I guess this was like the finale season of a season in itself, I guess. And... Also, a lot of world records were broken in this season. There was a lot of drama, a lot of politics, a lot of emotion, a lot of excitement, a lot of adrenaline. And Max Verstappen won the world championship. And he did not let Lewis Hamilton beat Michael Schumacher's record. So a lot of drama happened, especially in Saudi Arabia and Abu Dhabi. These two races were amazing and I am going to be making a reaction video on some of my favorite moments in 2021 season with my friend and my group of friends who watch F1. That is in the making right now, but because most of my videos are obviously about cinema, while I was watching um, Formula 1, I came across a lot of movies that I watched which are based on Formula 1, some movies, some documentaries, and I watched at least like 10 of them to learn a lot more about Formula 1. Also, because I've learned so much about Formula 1 through films, I want to let you guys know how Formula 1 actually started. Formula 1 as a sport started because all these cars like Williams, um, Ferrari, they wanted to race. And they didn't race to win a world championship. They race because when they're on track, the car which is the fastest is the more sellable car for the audience. So supposing I go to watch this race and Ferrari wins, that means I should buy a Ferrari because it's the best car over there and it's the fastest car. So all the cars used to come and they used to race and the best one used to be the one which everybody would want to buy. That's how Formula 1, that's what Formula 1 was which now became what it is and is one of my most favorite sport. It's actually the only sport I also even follow. I'm going to start following NBA, but um, yeah. So here are some of my favorite Formula 1 movies that I watched very recently. I have not added all of them because um, some of them were just okay. Some of them didn't teach me a lot. Some of them were a little boring. But these five movies that I'm going to be talking about today are amazing and you should definitely watch it. Um, just to give you a special mention, Ford vs Ferrari and Schumacher, I have not added in this list because I guess Schumacher just released on Netflix and everybody kind of knows about it. And Ford vs Ferrari is a movie that someone who's not even seen Formula 1 or doesn't even follow Formula 1 has seen it because it's Ford and Ferrari and stuff. So I'm not mentioning these two movies in my list but just watch them anyway, I've seen it too. The first movie that I want to talk about is a movie called Rush, which released in 2013. It's also a movie that everybody knows about, but I am recommend this, recommending this movie because it's based on two people who were great rivals, which is James Hunt and Nicky, Nicky Laura. Nicky Laura just passed away, I guess, this year or last year, or last to last year, but not more than three years back, but I'm sure he passed away very, very recently. And James had passed away a long time back. While they were racing, once Nikki Lara gets into an accident and he's literally in bed where he's about to die, almost die, but then he recovers really, really fast because he's seeing his see because he's seeing his rival James Hunt at that time racing on TV while he's on the bed and then he kind of gets back on track within a, a month or two months and starts racing again and comes to the finale. And is also battling for championship even after going through an accident and coming back in the same season. This movie is super inspiring. I was stunned. There was not even one second in the film where my eye even moved somewhere else. Like I was watching Rush and I was only watching Rush. I have gone through all the emotions while watching Rush. I have gone through a lot of adrenaline while watching Rush. 
And I think it is one of the best Formula One films I have ever seen. It is very inspiring, very sad, very motivational, very is it's dramatic, it's 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 really good and they both have performed very, very well. It's well edited, well written. So please add rush to your list. The second movie is called Ferrari, which released in 2017 and is based on a true story on Enzo Ferrari, who started Ferrari, how he started Ferrari, what was his obsession with cars that led to the start of Ferrari and how Ferrari is dominating the sport or used to dominate the sport and how it is the most luxurious car we have and how it achieves success. So Ferrari, which released in 2017, is based on the start of Ferrari to what Ferrari is doing around the world today. The third movie that I want to talk about is called Senna, which released in 2010. I'm sure this is also a movie that a lot of you guys must have seen and would be knowing about who Senna is. He, his name is Artin Senna and he's a three-time world champion in Formula 1 who was an amazing racer and I guess one of the best we ever had. His overtaking skills were amazing. He was real competition and he was super, super talented. Unfortunately, he passed away and met with an accident while racing. And the movie is based on his life and what happened with him and how he died. It is a very sad film. And it's a very heartbreaking film. Again, it's inspiring because the kind of motivation that sports men or people actually give you unknowingly is magic because of how their brain works, how competitive they are, how inspiring they are, how motivated they are even in their worst situations. So Senna is a movie that I highly, highly recommend. The fourth movie is called Williams, <coughs> which released in 2017. And it's based on Sir Frank Williams, who also passed away in the last two or three months. And he was the reason Williams is Williams today. He was obsessed with speed. He made Williams what it is today. And Williams was also in Formula 1 in the racing till 2021 and in years ahead. It is a great team. It is a great brand. And it is all about Sir Frank Williams and what he did, how hard he worked, what his obsession was how inspiring his story is to make Williams and that's why I love this film. It teaches you a lot about the sport, it teaches you a lot about the world, it teaches you a lot about how a billionaire or a millionaire thinks and that's why I love Williams. The fifth film is called Apiti the Willy T. Ribs. This is also a very interesting film because it is about the first black driver in Formula 1 which is actually a very heartbreaking film because honestly I don't understand racism against black like what is the reason you are a racist against black why aren't you racist against white why what is white supremacy I've never understood that so this movie is about that it's a shame how people have gone against him just because he was black like there are moments in the film where it is said that that people literally said that if he comes on track and drives a car, we will kill him. That's the kind of hatred they had for black people. I don't know why. I guess it still goes on. But kudos to Lewis Hamilton for what he's doing for black people in Formula 1 till today. It's really good and I respect him for that. So these are five films that I watched very recently on Formula 1. Rush, Ferrari, Senna, Williams, Apathy. And um, I highly recommend them. These films will really teach you a lot. These films will really motivate you, uplift you, make you sad, happy, give you a genuine rush. And definitely want you to want to make you do something out of your life. Like I was really inspired and motivated to do something and not give up because I guess when you want to achieve something big, you really, really have to work hard for it and you need a very strong mentality. And all these five films have somewhere spoken about this and this is what was common in these films so please do watch it let me know what is your formula one favorite film and uh, there is a new film coming by the way on f1 um with lewis hamilton in it so i'm quite excited about that let's see who it's gonna be about but yeah that's the buzz and um please do watch it and please do follow 2022 season it's gonna be insane it's going to be like a new baby in Formula 1. 
and I will see you very soon.